Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. They didn't really ask for this help. They evidently made one of these and then copied it multiple times. And like some of the lines are not joined, the door, the windows aren't in line. And if you're gonna, this is pretty neat what he's making. It wouldn't take very long to do it right. Well, excuse that to make it a little bit special. So let's just do a door using the perspective tool. The perspective tool, I don't really know when it started. It hadn't been around that long. And I'm gonna show you two ways if you don't have it. I just uh, put that in there and fill it in. Now I'm gonna left click, right click. And I'm gonna take, whoop, I'm gonna take that door shape. And I'm gonna put it in the part of the house needs to be, let's uh, zoom in here a little bit. Go up to, a, uh, go to object and add perspective. And then you just start moving your uh, door around. And then that way it kind of looks like it's in line and you could play with this, make it a little bit better. And then when you deep pick it, you can move it right to that spot and since you're doing multiple of those, it would make your, to me, it would make your drawing look a lot better. You can do that without this perspective tool. And every version of Corel will have this, the envelope tool. So we're gonna left click, right click, and we're gonna take this shape of the door and we'll just, whoop. well, actually the door doesn't need to be thinner. Let's make this one a little bit thinner and let's put it in here. And now let's go to the envelope tool, which is underneath your drop shadow fly out. It's a little bit not as easy, but it's pretty easy. We're going to take away those two nodes and these two nodes. And we're just going to bring that down to there, bring that down to there. Now you do need to convert them to line, so you can right click and turn them into a line, and then bring that down. And in just that short of time, to me it looks a lot better. And then you can nudge that back to your spot, and your door looks like it's a door on that side of the building. Now I did change his building up a little bit, and he has color in the windows, and it's black, so let's just Select all, select all the lines and right click black. And then let's fill in a light gray on the windows. I'm using his file, so it's CMYK, which I'm gonna be okay with. Uh, but we'll just go with a light gray to fill in the windows and the doors. And you get a totally different look. <clears throat> and, and I didn't do any kind of perspective on the front wall. Uh, I just drew the, excuse me, I drew the house uh, kind of like it is. I mean, uh, this house isn't even level. Uh, I'm not, I almost hate uh, saying things like that. Even if you were going to use this house, you know, make these joints join. And that's very easy by clicking on that, click on that, circle that, or select it all, go up to Windows, Dockers, and Join Curves. And in that case, it didn't work. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe because there's three of them. Yeah, see, it's like a double line. So it might not work. We could do this. We could select that and break it apart. And then take this line, which you don't really need. And then this line and then hold down the shift key and select it all and hit apply. Uh, still didn't work because it's actually three lines. So let's take, let's do it the right way. Let's back up here. You don't need that line. Cause it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a needed line cause it's there. And then just bring that line there, select both of them and hit apply. You know what, maybe, I don't know what centimeters is. Let's make this 0.9, make it a little bit bigger. 
select them both and hit apply. Once again, I don't know what, it should be enough tolerance. You know what, let's try this. Let's try to break this apart. There we go, maybe this will work now. Select them all and hit apply, there we go. That's gonna make it look a lot better even if you use that house. Everything else looks pretty good. Here's another one of those lines. And I don't know if he's evidently he's printing this, but those are gonna show up. And I might have moved your sketch. Um, that house is on top of that other house, which isn't a problem because you could always, you know, delete one of the walls and it would look like it's just behind that house. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.